I have already shared my PPT of Sierra and uh, upcoming PPT like sensor and transducers. OK, you can start uh, from there and. Uh, you can st start studying from there for your reference. I have uh, already sent it to you. OK, so uh, in my last class, I have started uh, on the basic discussions about the Sierra. OK, while we are discussing about the stresses. OK, what are the traces then? Uh, biasing voltage. OK, so sweeping uh, sweeping voltage, different vertical and uh, horizontal plate. OK, so then uh, what are the different types of means uh, important? So I am today I'm going to discuss about different channels of the CRO. Channel mean there are normally by default as I am telling in, in by default two channels are there channel one and channel two. OK, so both the channels, so you know that you are doing in uh, network laboratory in multi sim. OK, so in multi sim here where you can uh, where you can see about that you are using uh, CRO means oscilloscope. OK, so there is options for the oscilloscope. OK, that oscilloscope having two channels. OK, I think you are realizing that one. OK, so one is positive, another one is uh, sorry one channel having positive terminal as well as negative another channel also having positive channel uh, terminal as well as negative terminal. OK, so uh, now important issue is there. Uh, if you want to measure any of the electrical quantity in each of the channels, so you have to give it to them. OK, first if you measure that value or, or you want to see the waveform, so you can see that uh, the waveform of that uh, waveform of the CR will get it from in terms of time. OK, so your X axis there will be the time. OK, and Y axis is your amplitude. OK, so that's why it is written that it channel one vertical input channel two vertical input. OK, during X Y operations X axis will be abscissa. Another one will be ordinate means Y axis will be ordinate. So there are two modes of operations dual mode operations or individual modes of operations. OK, if you are using XY operations means what I mean if you normally what we are doing for channel one, we are using for channel one for measuring the voltage. OK, so voltage with respect of what with respect of time. So channel two, what we are doing, we are measuring current with respect of. What with respect of time for XY plot, what we are doing, we are measuring X axis uh, means we are measured in such a manner. So voltage and current X axis may be voltage Y axis is your current. OK, or X axis is your current Y axis is your voltage. So normally what happened? One is abscissa, another one is coordinate. OK, now both the cases, both the variable you are considering such a manner that one will be abscissa, another one will be coordinate. Means one will be dependent, another, another variable will be independent. Uh, in uh, means one will be the main, another will be dependent on that ordinate. OK, so by that way you are able to do it. OK, May, uh, some specifications also this uh, stress rotations. It also possible beam finder push button. So all the things are there gradually you are able to do it means you are variations that uh, that you know both the variable if you superimpose them means if you want to measure them. So you can see sometimes periodic waveform. If you are considering the transient one, there are options. Initially, you are getting some transient. After that, you will get the steady state value. So if you want to plot the steady state, so you have to remove the transient value. And some of the data you need to remove. OK, so all the thing also possible. So by everything based on your logic, how would you prepare the logic for fetching the results? OK. Uh, then in operations, uh, what are the process of the operation? First, you should turn on your power. Then intensity fully counterclockwise. So intensity setup option will be there. OK, so it is spot uh, that behaves like a knob type of thing. So intensity increase, intensity decrease. OK, like that thing. Intensity increase means more electron will be uh, means, uh, reflected to your skin. OK, decrease means less. So intensity also be better as well as it should not be so much thick. So both the thing you need to arrange. OK, that is important idea. So trade off in between of them focusing as well as intensity. Both the case you have to. Make them trading off. 
okay so vertical uh, vertical uh, centering in change of range okay so there are ranging are there okay so different type means what is your range based on your range you have to specify that value okay means you have to select that x channel means amplitude okay amplitude value you have to measure okay so now if you see the time range whatever you are setting over there so you can see lot of simulation sorry lot of results are showing in your time domain means that values are very I mean, highly dense dense value are getting so what you need to do you have to reduce the time scale okay if you increase the time scale so maybe you are taking the reading first case maybe for power electronics application you are taking reading for uh, maybe 20 milliseconds so they are very much coincide each other okay but if you want to take it for one millisecond, so definitely the thickness of that, basically that results will be spreaded out. Okay, so you can visible that all the results will be visible properly. You can get the data, you can take the reading accurately. Okay, so selection of the amplitude also important. Okay, so which one is the beneficial of your measurement that you need to pick. Okay, so horizontal, uh, horizontal, uh, centering in the center of range okay vertical at 0.2 to 5 division uh, 5 volt per division okay so amplitude you are varying so volt per divisions try a range time base okay time base of 10 millisecond by per divisions change in should okay so time you can also vary over there they till up to the operating room. so you, then you can make uh, calculations how much uh, how do sometimes we are save that way from okay save that away from okay then uh, what is your uh, measured voltage what uh, what is uh, your input voltage okay and what other the operating parameters means what is your frequency everything you are able to measure over there okay so now what you can do if you have any oscilloscope you can do it for obtaining trace how do you find out the trace brightness changing you are able to do that i'm changing a focus changing okay so changing of the focus okay means uh, how perfectly that uh, focusing with your skin that means okay brightness changing also be there okay thickness of that thickness of your electron beam okay move trace up and down so there is a vertical movement as well as horizontal movement so both the thing you can able to do vertical movement two vertical movement will be there for both the uh, sorry two vertical movement to horizontal movement okay uh, for both the channels so you can vary them and you are easily see to understand okay so uh, then uh, what happened normally for ac basically uh, when we are measuring that ac quantity okay like mi moving iron instrument so what kind of data we are able to get over here okay so normally we are getting the data okay so normally we are getting the data from uh, from this case okay so um, uh, this is rms value okay but basically they are in instantaneous value but when you are measuring that value okay that quantity so th their nature should be rms otherwise you are not able to get it okay so instantaneous well how do you get it it is not possible average value is zero so you have to convert in the rms value and you have to take the value okay what will be the relations with that one so peak value to that multiplication of from that rms value okay of the sine or cosine of form so other nature is not treated basically away from of our study it is in sine or cosine okay that's why sine cosine is sufficient okay now hints are there for so multimeter of the parallel unit you are happy with that cr reading means now multiple range applications are there okay so multimeter you are able to do normally measuring the voltage but in this case oscilloscope and cro the voltage level you can know that how from the rating plate how can how maximum voltage that meter able to measure okay so after getting that value you can easily you can easily changing their positions okay so uh, if you change any of the positions so that reading also been changes uh, but for the changing of the reading what you will get so for the changing of the reading so you are able to measure better better manner 
for multimeter what you are able to see directly get the value but here you can say you will get the value as well as the waveform that's the benefit so then uh, battery pack also be there okay so not for all the oscilloscope some of the oscilloscope there is a rechargeable battery pack so, so suddenly that power is off means uh, from that battery pack for some duration you are able to get the reading okay or fetching the diagram from that oscilloscope okay approximated number of volts so uh, how much voltage range you are able to measure okay so based on that range you are select, selecting your per, uh, volt per divisions okay so volt per divisions means again that vertical amplitude for volt per divisions can uh, calculate the control fully clockwise means changing of that positions means they are knob like of thing so if you rotate that value so volt per division will be changing okay DC or AC will show the ripple component only. Okay, so connect means waveform. The, the main thing is that I will see the waveform. Okay, from the waveform you can see AC as well as DC component as well as ripple component also you are able to see. Okay, means you can visualize the signal. Okay, connect probe to the battery. Read volt by meter to uh, volt per divisions on the. Uh, sorry, read volts per number of volt per divisions on the display that you are able to get from there. Okay, so volt per division, if you know the value, you are easily get the reading of your oscilloscope. Okay, so AC sinoid from you are getting from that one. So if you want to measure AC, so first you need to select in AC coupling. Okay, so if you select in DC coupling, so you will not get the reading. Okay, first you need to select ac coupling then what you need to do so what is your probable frequency range if you are connecting in your uh, in our lab <coughs> the power supply of the lab so you know there is a 50 hertz so 50 hertz means 20 milliseconds so selection of the time first you have to prepare so how much cycle you want to measure okay if you want to measure two cycles so your range should be uh, you can uh, select that individual individual uh, individual big unit for 10 uh, millisecond per big unit okay so 10 millisecond per big unit means so two units two big units stands for 20 millisecond okay so 10 millisecond per big unit. so based on your frequency uh, values okay basically if you taking sinus cycles so 20 milliseconds so individual unit you can make it for 10 millisecond okay so if you go for that uh, higher amplitude of your frequency so time also will change okay so uh, for 10 mega so for 10 kilohertz so definitely time will be changed so 1 by 10 uh, 10 into 2 by 3 okay so by this way you are able to measure it okay and you can select the time per division so how much durations for uh, in time scale that you can find out obtain the display so from the display you can get that away from set time base okay so you can set the entire thing okay how much values are there so based on that you can set it then it is dc or ac that based on that you are coupling okay if it is ac so you are making ac coupling one or more cycle part division for the whole display that i am telling okay so 10 millisecond part division i am telling per big divisions okay there are small small division as well as big divisions okay so you have to accommodate the signal based on it you have to means there should not be unutilized space so all the space should be utilized all the display uh, all the display place should be utilized so how ma how much maximum you are able to orient or how much maximum you are able to accommodate them so that should be good idea okay whole part divisions in vertical or peak to peak important thing calculate rms value peak into 0 0.707 okay so that two things are very important what are the types of waveforms so first one you can see ac sinoid okay so first we are causing cross signal is sinoid so square wave also be there so if you in means your probe is connected with a square wave generator maybe function generator is there so one of the classes means function generator means digital instrument we are talking about that function generator so function generator having it can generate triangular waveform square waveform and sinusoidal waveform so so you are you are able to arrange one function generator now from the output 
of the function generator you are using over here Mm, to uh, to study their current uh, to study their waveforms. Okay, so decide upon the probable uh, pulses per second. Okay, set time base. How much time base you have to select? Okay, like your sinusoidal. Okay, one or more pulses per divisions. Okay, that you need to select. So optimum utilization of the display space. Okay, so maximum amount of signal you have to uh, that you can accommodate over there. Okay, if it is DC or AC that you can select. If it is in the AC, so you can. Uh, if it is DC, so you can make the system DC coupling or AC. That one switch is there. You can change that switch. Then selection of the volt per divisions that is related to your vertical. Okay, amplitude variations. Then uh, pulses per divisions that is your horizontal. So everything you are able to change. Okay, measures volt and length of pulse. So how much? Length that they are in time domain, you can fix up that value and uh, measure volt means how much voltage are there that you are able to select. So based on uh, based on your value, you are able to measure that thing. Complex waves means uh, AC ripple superimposed with DC supply means DC is there as well as AC ripples are there. Okay, or pulse it in DC. Okay, so that you can also measure. Okay, so uh, how much frequency you are able uh, accurately measure that based on your uh, bandwidth. Okay, so if your system having more bandwidth, so you can select that. Uh, if your system having more bandwidth, so you can select your system. I mean, uh, sorry, you can display your signal in a very well manner. I means uh, <clears throat> how much you are able to, how, how accurately you are able to see it. Okay, that you can do. Okay, so uh, another thing is that uh, another thing is that mixing up two sine wave that also possible. Phase measurement means uh, there is some measuring terminal. Okay, that I don't know about your analog oscilloscope, but uh, recently, not recently, the digital storage oscilloscope there is some uh, trace you can by using the trace. Okay, trace selection is there. You can measure each and individual parameter. Means you are you are having two waveform, maybe two two channel oscilloscope. Okay, two waveforms are there. You want to measure the phase difference between two of the uh, waveform. So you have to select the trace and angular difference. Okay, directly it can be calculated. Okay, by that meter. So that uh, they are telling about it. So phase measurement also there. Finally, that important thing is. Uh, Lissajous pattern. Okay, means x y plot. Okay, by change of uh, by uh, that I am telling that x y plot means suppose x axis you are having y axis you are having current away from. So if you uh, make them x y plot, okay, so you will get that Lissajous pattern. Okay, so different types of pattern you will get. So periodicity of the pattern also they depend upon your uh, waveform of individual. Uh, uh, signals okay if there is a if there is a bending okay bending means sub harmonic is there so maybe fundamental is 20 milli uh, 20 uh, 20 millisecond then one you are getting one signal okay so for the next cycle the 10 millisecond you are getting some of the rest so one folding is there okay that you will get from there okay so dual stress CRO, so two stress CRO also be there. Okay, external trigger options you can give it from externally positive going and negative going signal means bias plates are there, no vertical plates. So you are providing that signal to your both of the plates. So one will be positively charged and another negatively charged. So externally you can able to give the trigger signal. Noise is there sometimes okay based on that uh, uh, <coughs> bandwidth of the oscilloscope okay noise level also mean changes okay if it's a oscilloscope is a good bandwidth having good bandwidth so that maybe it will be changes okay frequency resolutions of the CRO that also been possible frequency resolutions means uh, uh, how accurately means maximum amount of frequency or get then good resolutions okay so again it's and based on your bandwidth if it is more bandwidth so you will get that better same frequency are measure may able to measure but they are look like better so uh, means good results you are able to get okay so from the manual what you need to do basically that it's very costly device for normal cases it is 
coming by around 50 minimum 50000 okay 50 then local mend okay that is coming 50000 so for uh, isolated channel dso may be coming more than 10 lakh okay so so you are dealing with very sophisticated and very costly device okay so first what you need to do you have to go through or read out the manual very carefully okay so throughout the work when specially what points we are normally checking from the manual okay that is how much maximum voltage capability it having to withstand okay current capability voltage current basically in one sentence the power level that means rating okay maximum rating uh, means maximum minimum rating of the system so that you can first you need to see that one okay so these two are the basic constant then other things are the operating manual means uh, then other thing you can do some uh, dedicated job you can do so based on the application you will do those are working in machine so they can uh, they are able to measure the different parameters of that machine okay or from of that may may be induced emf okay like that okay so those are working in electronics they can uh, they can uh, measure their uh, means uh, frequency levels of that carrier frequency okay so sampling frequency that they can able to find out if you working in electrical field and power power electronics field so how you can be able to measure the ratings of your system okay and switching frequency that is another important issue okay so everything you are able to get based on your applications but important thing is that you have to go through the manual carefully and operate handle it very carefully basically it's a costly device if you mishandle it so instrument may be damaged okay that's why very careful about this about working of this costly devices okay so here you can see some of the diagram of the oscilloscope okay so that i am telling about the coupling setting here you can see the coupling setting okay two channel oscilloscopes are there channel 1 channel 2 okay this is your trace basically not trace you are changing that positions okay for volpar division amplitude amp amplitude changing you are able to this using this one this is what this is for time okay so time changing is there from here so uh, if you go for clockwise direction so it is spreading up okay so spreading up so 20 millisecond to 10 millisecond then 5 millisecond then 2 millisecond like that if you go counter clockwise so again it is uh, 20 millisecond to 40 40 to 80 like that it will change over there so that is vertical uh, horizontal movement so here the trace lines are there that is horizontal movement these two are the vertical movement so these two are the vertical movement for channel on this is channel on this is channel two so here you can select dc coupling ac coupling and in between dc a, dc and ac there is a ground okay if you select this one you can able to see the ground okay so connections of the probe okay here you are able to give the supply okay connection see vertical positions changes you are able to do this is for horizontal position so vertical positions you are able to do over there these two are the vertical positions here you can also see it. so ac coupling dc coupling in middle middle of the thing is ground okay volt per divisions this is 5 volt per division 10 volt 20 volt per uh, sorry this is millivolt range this is volt range so this is uh, that i am telling 5 volt per division 2 volt 1 0.5 0.2 0.1 volt per division then you can see 0.50 millivolt sorry 50 millivolt 20 millivolt 10 and 5 so this is time per scale okay so lot of things are there voltage variation positions time variations positions that all the things are there focusing changes intensity changes okay you are able to do it by varying all those things okay so lot of things are there okay they are not so much complicated okay so very simple nothing complicated things are there okay so you know the operations now how they are look like i am showing you that diagram okay so here you can know about uh, you are aware about this diagram that is cathode ray tube okay cathode ray tube also available over there okay <clears throat> so after that uh, that uh, tube diagram is there from the tube diagram uh, that is your crt tube so y plates are there so these are in y plate these two are the y plate okay so they are uh, means parallel to what they are parallel to here you can see so it is your horizontal line 
this is y plate and they are vertical plates these two are the parallel to uh, these are considered as a x plate okay they are vertically placed okay so high tension supply is there the, from that high tension heater supply is there that heat your electrode okay plating is there so after that electrons are emitting then one focusing line is there that high tension line that can align all the electrons and that electrons when it is passing through that plates four plates are there so they are bending here you can see directly it is connected to the phosphor surface but based on the changing of the y plate and x plate their position also changing okay so the, you can see their position so they can vary their positions okay this is your phosphor scheme okay based on that you can see the circuit changes okay so electron gun of photographs so the directly heaters are there how electrons are coming from that one so that you can see over here okay then uh, you know that one is here is like anode okay one is behave like anode and here you can see that ht supply is there okay so from that ht supply heater is there so directly electrodes are biased to the system and uh, go to the explant so what you can see from electron guns uh, produce the beam of electrons from electron gun you can see the electron uh, production of the electron then light uh, that light you are able to see are produced on the skin by the electron beam okay so that line you can see that here you can see some biasing plates are there okay so that plates orient your line okay so for deduction of the redu reduce the uh, losses due to leakage okay now what you will do that apd okay across the across the y plates reflects the trace vertically okay so now whatever you are doing with the x plates so same thing you need to do it for y plate okay this these two are the y plate these two are the y plate and another two are another two is your x plate okay so potential difference across the x plate defines the trace horizontally so uh, potential difference appear across your x that may cause for horizontal displacement okay in single word okay so i hope you are able to understand so here you can see that crt tube okay so cathode tube so it is a grid line then cathode you are giving okay so anodes are there okay so focusing anode also be important okay then y plate uh, y plate okay parallel with your uh, horizontal line so x plate also be there parallel with your vertical line okay so uh, these all are the very important key features okay key features of your crt means cathode ray tube so here you can see the block diagram of the general purpose of the cro okay so from the cro what you will do so uh, that uh, biasing voltage is there okay electrons are coming beams are there so it is directly emitting over there so if you put the biasing voltage of your vertical end and horizontal end so definitely that electron will be uh, so emitting electron will be uh, varying their positions okay so you can get the lucius plot over there okay if you change their position automatically it will change its positions okay so here you can see that uh, all circuit then other important thing okay not like uh, uh, means uh, uh, basically other important thing related to your oscilloscope okay input signal you have to give okay input signal is there you are giving the input signal then vertical amplifier is there okay so then controller is there so some of the uh, so, uh, sorry vertical amplifier is there then line so all the things are very important to prepare behind of the preparations of your oscilloscopic diagram so that is a very important thing how they are working okay so working portions most of the portion i am telling with from my uh, personal point of view so rest of the portion you can study any of the book and as well as also update your uh sorry uh, up to means uh, that this uh, is figure update your or pattern okay so everything also happen so here you can see this different peak voltage that i am telling about peak, peak voltage means x axis this is your y axis diagram you are able to get so this is your x axis okay x independent axis 
y axis is a dependent axis so changing of the frequency means changing of the time period means this axis is changing okay so the values of the this axis these two axis are changing okay by increasing by stretching of them okay but uh, when you want to coincide them so we are just making them same so by that way you are able to do it so peak voltage so uh, peak uh, how much values you are able to get three divisions into 10 volt per division okay so 3.0 millivolt you are getting over here okay so same thing also happened for measurement of uh, <coughs> sorry measurement of uh, other things like your uh, 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 frequency okay period time period everything also be there so here you can see able to find out the time period okay big rooms are there one big room consists of what one big room consists of 10 millisecond okay pay 10 millisecond part division so big room is 10 millisecond so individual big room having five small rooms and uh, five five small rooms so there are 100 sorry uh, 10, 10 small rooms okay so by that way you are able to measure that value accurately okay Uh, now, how the digital storage oscilloscopes are look like? So first here you can see four channel oscilloscope. Both the cases uh, four channel oscilloscope there. So now ex for external trigger, they are providing one additional port over there. So you can connect it, uh, you can connect the uh, external trigger and supply to that system. Okay, so easily you can do it. Okay. As uh, then uh, different channels that I have uh, that I have discussed. Okay, so with the channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. So channel two, you can see the uh, sorry in between channel one and channel two, you can see one channel uh, that uh, one th additional points are there. So what is the purpose of the permission po point? The purpose is to oh means uh, <coughs> uh, measure. Okay, so here you can see that you are able to measure that value. So suppose you are doing FFT analysis, first Fourier transformation of your waveform. So that directly you are able to do it okay that's why that measuring unit is very important then run button is there so uh, when you are getting the exact accurate diagram so we make them figures pause okay so if you do them pause, so automatically you are able to get that uh, diagram and you can draw it to your homework so that's why that options are there so run and pause run stop options are there Okay, so here you can see that ESP, uh, ESP hotspot thumb drive. Uh, here you need to uh, put the uh, uh, sorry USB to collect the data. Okay, then 12 uh, MP, uh, MPTS of memory uh, upgrade the 25. So whatever readings are there, based on that you are get the data. Okay, if your reading is not uh, coming so much high so that amount of data is not required but sometimes it is required okay so how do you get it so from that terminal you are able to get that value okay so you can see over there four channel oscilloscope but there is a problem of that four channel working simultaneously what type of problem uh, basically it's an uh, sorry four channel the problem is that isolations problem is mandatory okay so normally what happened that isolations uh, problem means they are not ground isolated their ground are not isolated each other so if you make the system uh, short any of the portions automatically there is a huge circulation current in between uh, in between uh, two uh, two steps so uh, that's the problem will occur okay so I hope you are able to understand uh, the CRO portions. Okay, that is basically informative chapters. Okay, in exam, maybe some small informative question or small numerical problems may come to that uh, subject. Okay, so good chapter as well as some informative chapter also. Okay. So if you have any query, if you don't have any query, so uh, we can, uh, Leave in next class we can do the <coughs> next class we can start another one. Okay.
our last chapter. Okay, last sensor and transducers. I hope you are able to understand. 